actually get you wrong, because see, I like doing the first song, because you know, it brings back a lot of memories and stuff, but see, then, I want to take it back even further. And I know you know what I mean, so tell me about it, Joe. So, let's take this back to where it all started. Yeah. So long on the New York.
Joseph. In earlier days, Joe's voice started out as... <laughs> Eventually, too. Please don't go, Tell me you'll stay. Never ever go. Around Christmas time, it sounded like. Finally, on to today. We've been together for a long time, baby. Do you have to be? The Delphonics and didn't I blow your mind? Now, hey, Dan, on your radio, yeah, baby, 745. Coming up after 9 o'clock. You know it's New Kids on the Block, eh?
Joey, do you remember your first kiss? Yeah, I remember my first kiss. I was, uh, it was a Christmas party over my friend's house. And, um, it was my first girlfriend, too, so. She was, I, was, she, I guess you could say she was kind of a flirt, so I knew I could kiss her. So, uh, the lights went out all of a sudden, because it, it was just real. I was, like, 11 at the time, so it seemed like every time the lights went out, you know, that was to, like, you know, go ahead and get your first kiss or whatever. So, uh, I saw the girl. There was just like a little silhouette of her, and I knew it was her in, in the uh, in the window. And I just, I don't know. I kissed her, and she kissed me. It was nice. probably as my little brother because I see Joe is a lot like me. He's actually a lot like all the guys in me because, you know, he's a lot younger than us and he's easily influenced by us. I'm going to tell you about the birds and the bees. Birds, birds live in a hive. First there was a bird. Let me tell you about the bees. Oh, you're going to tell me about the yeah. birds and the bees and that's that. Period. Joe was is just like me when I was that age. He doesn't want to hear it from anybody older. He just is going to do what he wants to do because he's growing up. Joe has a super rough edge look to him. Knees showing. It's great, man. The handkerchief there. I but like this with, look. With the, it's a I great look. I, I don't feel too many people like this look. It's different. No, no, Joe. Look me in the eye. I love the look. Who's that? I you love like it. I love I Joe's look. look. It looks great. I really like this look. Danny, industry piece too. He's looking mighty fly. Yes, uh -huh. he's looking real cute for because most of them don't even know about you know what I'm talking about like what do you think have you Sex? ever actually <laughs> on us I mean they just want I mean they want to have us for like a little just to cuddle up like a little teddy bear he's, yeah, he's caring and loving and he cares for his son we're up on that stage and we're doing what we do best especially like when, oh, Danny. when Danny took off his shirt sometimes you know they like do a little sexy move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they might go crazy. <laughs> he just, well, he does. He before, grinds his hair. But, but, but before he does that, he takes off his jacket. He just goes like that. And they go crazy. So It's going to make her go, ah! Because new kids on the block are coming up. <laughs> or a teenage girl in your life, you might never have heard of the five young men in our next story. On the other hand, if you do have a teeny bopper around, then you probably haven't escaped these boys. And it's a good guess that no matter what you say, your youngster will insist that you stay tuned to us for the next few minutes. In the last year, these five Boston boys, ages 17 to 21, have made young female America pine for them. So, we ask the question, who are these boys? Where do they come from? And just what do they want with our daughter? you're seeing here is just another bunch of crazy kids. This is a very carefully packaged product. Uh, an urban background. Did you mess with any drugs? If you did that, this is the wrong place for you. But the crucial test was yet to come. New kids were to perform for an audience notoriously hard to please. You know, people in the car will start looking, oh man, what's going on? You know, some people are ready to get up and start walking out. So they kick off right stuff. <laughs> And then they couldn't contain themselves. When I got a mean call from my Joseph at All 15 right. years old, that's when I knew I, that something yeah, was right. going right. right. Jordan called me and said, Ma, don't take any more work. I was about to take on a new client. And I said, Jim, Jim, right. 
So I called a CBS. I told him to talk to the president. And he says, take it easy, lady. I've only been president in 11 days. <laughs> no, I want yes. to be a priest. And this is really this messing is up his, my this ministry. Is his ministry. This is his ministry. Oh, my God. I believe this is I a believe Swiveling in front of 17,000 girls is his ministry. No in the world. Can I sing a little bit of yes. it? Because I like singing it. I might not do it. Get up and get, get, get down. Uh, people are uh, grasping beyond their reach, and uh, there's no business like show business. And we're in the of where the new kids grew up. In fact, this is the home of the youngest member, Joe McIntyre. The group all came together and had to do with, a lot of it had to do with timing. And we were talking about it the other day when we were flying to in the city, and we were just looking, at, we wrote down all the songs, and we were just thinking about them. I mean, just talking about the songs and how how it just gets you, and then we listen to the songs, and it's just like, it's r really something special. And when, when, like we think of lyrics or something, it's just really from the heart. It's really coming from us inside. It's not like, it's not, uh, we don't think of catchy tunes or anything like that. We think of feelings. Step one, one, one. We can have lots of fun. Step two, two. 